My name is Hazel Ann Harding Currents. My Native American name is uh, Nukamai Weonsum, and it means one who smiles easy. I'm a member of the Herring Pond Wampanoag tribe at Herring Pond. I mean, we were exposed to disease. We were exposed to slavery. I mean, what happened here was uh, people who came, not just for religion, that might have been their purpose of leaving their homelands, but they came here and wanted to uh, wipe out the existence of a whole culture. This one is the uh, one of the first powwows that was at um, Meeting House in, uh, in Borndale. We should have never been treated the way that we were our ancestors. Uh, I think that if they were here now, if they were looking down on us, I think they'd be very proud at the movement that's going forward now. And I think they'd be exceptionally uh, pleased with how the uh, older generation has moved forward to be able to keep the young people focused on who they are and where they came from. My personal connection to the Mayflower is Samuel Fuller was on the Mayflower. He's uh, 12 generations back in my family. I have some reservations, but I also have pride. You know, the, the pilgrims came out of religious persecution uh, in England, and I'm very proud of the fact that they set off to create their own independent culture because uh, that was a very important step, obviously. But they came to a place where there was existing culture and uh, and you know the history is not friendly and that is troublesome. My personal connection to the Mayflower is through my mom's paternal side. Considering my ancestors helped incite the racial hierarchies that caused the need for these movements now, um, I do feel ashamed that that had to be part of history and that the pride that I could feel for coming from the people who founded this country kind of gets diminished by the role they played in kind of manipulating and terrorizing people of color, which trickled down to the structures we have today. And now we have the COVID pandemic. And, but at the same time, it's giving you a chance to slow down and think about what's really important. Um, so without COVID, I don't know if you'd have um, as much thing as women's movements and Black Life Matter movements. It's opening up everyone else's eyes to how uh, unbalanced the world is and unequal and that we need to learn to live with one another in balance.